Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about open close principle. The letter O in solid stand for open close principle, which is known as OCP. So, what is the open close principle in C sharp? The open close principle states that software entity such as a module classes functions etc should be open for extension but closed for modification. Here we need to understand two things. The first thing is open for extension and second thing is closed for modification. So what do we mean with the open for extension? The open for extensions means we need to design the software modules in such a way that the new responsibility or functionality should be added easily. And another one is that closed for modification. So we should not modify the class until we find some bugs. So what's the problem if you will not follow the open close principle? If you allow a class or function to add new logic, then as a developer, you need to test entire functionalities, which include the old functionality as well as new functionality of the application. Second one is that if you're not following the open class principle, then it also breaks the single responsibility principle as the class or modules is going to perform multiple responsibility. If you are implementing all functionality in a single class, then the maintenance of the class become very difficulties. So let's see with example, let's open that new project. Select Visual Studio, then console app. So here we're going to write OCP of solid. Press OK. Here you can see that there is a one console application is created. Here we will create one class without using open responsibility principle means OCP. So that class I'm going to create with the without use of a OCP means open close principle. Just create one class that is a customer class. Okay, before that, I'm going to create one enum that uh, create the enum public enum that is a customer type. Okay, that customer type is you can say that uh, gold customer, silver customer, and bronze customer. Okay, now. Because that all those things that gold customer, silver customer, and bronze customer, and one is that normal customer. Okay, so the, based on that customer type, we will give the discount. So I have we will write like one public that will return time will be decimal get discount or get uh, you can say that total. Here that two value, one is the decimal, that will be the subtotal. Then another one is that customer type. OBJ customer type. Now we will write like that if object of customer type equal to that customer type is if we'll take that branch then return subtotal and we're going to give discount like if it's a branch then we're going to give 30 percent so I will calculate that uh, subtotal into point three zero Okay, if so, we are going to write again if as if that object of customer type, if it's a customer type is gold, gold, then we will return 
सब टोटल माइनस सब टोटल इनटू टू आर गोइंग टू गिव दैट फिफ्टी परसेंट डिस्काउंट सो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो सेम लाइक इफ आर गोइंग टू यूज दैट सिल्वर कस्टमर देन फोर्टी परसेंट देन फोर्टी फोर्टी परसेंट इफ इट्स ए नॉर्मल कस्टमर एल्स इफ इट्स नॉर्मल कस्टमर दैट मीन्स देर इज ए नो डिस्काउंट सो इट विल रिटर्न लाइक सब टोटल ऑनली दैट ओके ना सो इफ यू विल लुक दैट दिस क्लास सो वट इज द प्रॉब्लम again in the future if uh, uh, that customer type we are going to extend just like a platinum customer if i'm going to add like a platinum customer just like a platinum customer so what if you look at that again we need to add one more else if condition just like here again you have to add that one so you have to give it like a platinum customer and if you want to give that one it will be 60% if i want to give the discount so that's a problem is coming that because you already created and this uh, uh, project is already on the live so again in the some situation it's came that platinum customer and some other customer type so uh, you are changing that this class so that's uh, you are violating the rule of a open close principle because that it's clearly saying open for extension and close for modification but here you are violating because in that same customer class you are modifying if you in the future if they want to add one more customer type so again you have to change it in the same same class so how we can resolve this one with the help of a ocp just comment this one otherwise yeah just comment this one okay first we're going to create one create one interface face like a customer discount and in the into the interface we are going to write like customer total Or here it will be the decimal uh, subtotal. Okay. Now we are going to create one class. Like the first will be the gold customer. So going to implement this. Make it I here and implement this one. so here we can write like return return sub total into sub total because here it was a once it was a gold it's a gold customer then 50% discount so we are going to write multiply that 50 okay so going to create one more class that for uh bronze customer that it will implement i customer implement this i customer so same we're going to copy but only that discount percent should be changed that will be the bronze customer that was 30 so change into 30 same like Let us do it. Bronze silver customer, silver customer. So I have to you have to implement that silver customer. Implement I customer discount. So same to copy. If it says silver customer, then forty percent. now because here you can see that it it's uh, doing like a single responsibility principle also 
if uh, they, if you can say that the, this the, if you look the clear class it says uh, following single responsibility principle and so and you can check that uh, because uh, here we are not using that if else condition so if uh, in the future if they want to extend like uh, they want to use like a uh, platinum customer so same you, you are going to extend that one you are not going to change you are going to extend you, you, will, you will create like a platinum customer customer i customer uh, here you will implement that one will be that 60 percent so here you are not modifying in any class you are just ex extending that or that one that, that particular class if any types of customer just like a normal customer if you will come you are just extending you are not changing any class like a normal customer if it will be normal customer and if it, it's try to implement If it's a normal customer, there is a no discount, then it will return only the subtotal. Okay. So in the program class, here you have to use like a I customer discount OBJ is equal to. So here you can that client class will call at OBJ dot customer total. So enter that uh, 200, that total is 200. So it will return some value that is a total. It will automatically calculate that total. And you can print. Okay. Run the application. Also 140. If you want to use that uh, gold customer, so nothing to change. Just you are now you are using that gold customer. Just run the application. It's a hundred. Okay. Because here you are not creating one class. You are creating multiple class for multiple customer types. So that is also the single responsibility also, and uh, you are extending, extending. You are not because that's a, it's a say that OCP open for extension and close for modification. That class, this particular class is closed for modification. Now you are not going to change anything in this particular class. You are extension. It's open for extension. If you want to add more uh, customer type, will come so you can extend that problem that particular class or entities. I hope it's clear. Thanks for watching.